despite NVIDIA's best efforts to come into the market with their own dual fan cooler and axial cooler at that, EVGA is out here showing that they know what to do. So EVGA has three cars that they're showing today. I'm gonna to go through the names first before I forget them. There is the FTW3 Ultra, which is a big one over here. There's an XC Ultra. So that is a, it's using a reference PCB. It's the first two fan 2.75 slot cooler, $1,250 for that one. And then there's an XC, uh, just this one right here. So this is a two slot card. Before that, this video is brought to you by Thermaltake's View 37 case. The View 37 focuses on highlighting custom PC builds with its full panoramic window and tinted front acrylic. In our thermal testing, the View 37 performed reasonably well when considering its looks-focused build, which is partly thanks to the airflow design and the removal of a bottom power supply shroud. For a balance of looks and performance, check the link in the description below for the View 37. So now that we've gotten the names out of the way, the FTW3 will have a counterpart, a hybrid version. So there will be a, an FTW3 hybrid later. We'll talk about all the specs, the cooler VRM in a moment, for what we know anyway. Uh, there will be a cane pin card. I know that some of you were asking whether there would be one. Well, there's going to be, and it will have a custom PCB. Also, this time, a bit interestingly, the cane pin card will supposedly be a hybrid. So that's a bit different as well for those cards. So there will be a hybrid FTW3, a hybrid cane pin, which just, if you don't know, just means it will have a closed loop liquid cooler attached to it. And then uh, the other cards are dual fan, dual axial coolers that uh, one of them has ICX on it. So interesting thing here with ICX2, ICX2 has a hardware monitor for power. So it can pr produce a uh, wattage readout through Precision X1, which is a new version of Precision. Actually pretty interesting. We'll be talking about that momentarily. So on board, hardware monitoring for power, a bit new and different. We'll test how accurate it is, all that stuff later. Uh, in terms of thermals, cooling, and, uh, and noise, acoustics, should be significantly quieter in theory for the temperature than the reference cards that NVIDIA showed off the other day. And from what we understand, the reference cards have a vapor chamber that fully occludes the PCB. So any air that doesn't get down, well, no air will get down there. Any non-contacted area of the PCB won't be cooled. And that's where EVGA and the board partners still have a chance to shine. Plus, these companies have been making fans for a long time, or at least designing them. So they've got a pretty good idea of how to do that, whereas NVIDIA's just getting into it. So that's the basics. So for parts on the FTW3 card, there is a VRM contact plate that we should have a shot of, I think, but it's got a thermal pad between it and the VRM. So there's a base plate, and then on top of that, there's a contact plate, which is contacting the actual massive heat sink for the 2.75 slot card. So thermal pads connecting those. I believe it, the transfer medium is going directly into the plate, but I'm not sure. We, we might have a separate video of taking it apart, and if we do, then obviously check that out and see what it looks like. So FTW3 overall, biggest card, uh, most expensive. We'll put the prices up on screen if we haven't gone through them already. So that covers that one. This one, pretty straightforward, dual fan, dual slot card. It's the smallest that EVGA has got. Should still outperform the new reference model. I know that's a big concern from everyone right now. And then uh, this thing right here is just a plate. So. They're still figuring out the price. I guess the question for you all is, what would you pay for this? It's an aluminum shroud. It goes on top of the FTW3, and it's about, I don't know, maybe one millimeter thick aluminum or something like that, maybe something close to that anyway. So what would you pay for that, if anything? And then also, EVJ is looking at doing more customizable uh, color for their cooler shrouds as well. So you can have black, white, red available in sets of two. I think they're looking at 20 bucks for those. We might have some footage of them. And then the other card we've got footage of as well, uh, it's the XC2 Ultra. So ICX2 on that one, it's a bit wider at 2.75 slots and a bit more expensive. I think that gets all of it. So yeah, some cards that we know of that aren't here today, but the three big ones are here. Check back, subscribe for the hopefully teardown of the FTW3, we'll see. And as always, go to store.gamersnexus.net to help us out directly. Patreon.com slash gamersnexus there as well. I'll see you all next time.